subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's very interesting. When he says, that Bill is the role model for us, he says, you know why Mary was given Jesus? Why Isa was given to Mary? Is it jab? Is it determination? No. She purified herself, then she had the liability to receive our spirit. What does it mean? When the cause and effect is mentioned in a ruling, means that this is not limited to Mary. Anyone else who is going to purify himself or herself will receive the Spirit of Allah. That's why in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about Ahlul Bayt says, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهِ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجْسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُتَحِّرَكُمْ تَدْهِيرًا اللَّهُمَّ صَلِ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلِي so you see, when you purify yourself, the soul will, the spirit of Allah will be given to you. And you know, for example, Imam marries to a slave woman. And this slave lady has the liability because of the purity that she has to be mother of an Imam. Imam al-Jawad alayhi salam, <coughs> she, he had this speciality that he was, he is the first young Imam of a very young age. And uh, so it was very uh, odd for the people for the first time to see a person of something like 12 years old to be Imam. Can he have the knowledge? Of course, Quran says, yes, Jesus was a prophet in cradle. And the knowledge is going to be given by Allah. You know that the Imam, the knowledge is not learned. Of course he learns. But then he says, for example, my father said from his father, from his father, this is for people to know that he is, he is keeping the chain of narration. But directly the knowledge is being given by Allah. So there are so many cases that they came to challenge Imam and the greatest scholars of the time, like Yahya ibn Aksam and the others, when they came to challenge Imam, a young, of young age, Imam answered all the questions and Imam asked them questions that they couldn't answer, then Imam answered them all, they're astonished that a young man can answer all these questions. So from that side, inshallah, later we may speak once about the knowledge of Imam and how the knowledge is given. But Quran puts it for us also. It says, أَفَمَنْ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ أَحَقُّ أَنْ يُتَّبَعُ أَمَّنْ لَا يَهِدِّ إِلَّا أَنْ يُهْدَى Allah is making this confrontation here. Which one is worthier to be followed? أَفَمَنْ يَهْدِي إِلَى الْحَقِّ The one who guides to the truth what would be the opposite? The one who guides to the truth is opposite to what? The one who doesn't guide to the truth. Because rationally you have to put the confrontation this way. When you, <coughs> when you talk to people, you say, you should follow a learned person, not an ignorant. This is how we put opposition, confrontation. Uh -huh. You should choose a just imam, not uh, unjust. unjust. So this is how we speak. When we, we, when we are putting confrontation and opposition, we bring, when we bring one side, then we bring the opposite. Allah says, after man yahdi an yuttaba, the one who guides to the truth is worthier to be followed, or or, the, or he ha logically has to say the one who doesn't guide to the truth. But he doesn't say that. He says the, the, the one who guides to the truth is 
worthy to be followed, or the one who cannot teach unless being taught. What does it mean? You have to be very all ears to understand what I'm saying. All of us, me, you, your teachers, we didn't know anything. So we learned things after going to school, after reading books, after being guided by our teachers. Now we can guide. Now you are being guided, inshallah, in the future you will guide. Amman la yahiddi means yahtabi illa ayyuhda. The one who cannot be, uh, who cannot guide uh, uh, unless after being guided. The one who guides to the truth is better to be followed, or the one who cannot guide unless after being guided. What does it mean? It means the one who guides to the truth is the one who has not been taught by others. The one who is guiding to the truth is worthier to be guide, to be followed than the one who cannot guide unless after being taught by others. So the one who guides is not taught by others. Allazina amanu walam yulbisu yalbisu imanahum bezulmin. Huh? Those who have faith and lam yalbisu imanahum bezulmin. There is no zulm. They are ma'asum. There is no zulm. They are the guided ones. Guided by whom? Guided by Allah. Then it doesn't make any difference from, uh, I don't know, what age you are. To be 12, to be 30, to be 40. Then the knowledge is going to be given by Allah, then it doesn't make difference what age you are. Because this is Amrullah. Inshallah, I will discuss it later. This is Amrullah. Inshallah, I will tell you what this Amrina is. Allah decides and it happens. Allah chooses for those people, then they are the guides. They don't need to be learned by others. They don't need to go to classes to, to read books. And they have the true knowledge. <coughs> and Imam al-Jawad salam what is specific with him is that, you know, after Imam al-Rida, Ma'mun decided to bring Imam al-Rida from Medina to Marv in Khurasan, to, to have him under his control. Later, he couldn't stand Imam and they poisoned Imam to death. And they knew that Imam al Jawad is the next Imam. Imam was in Medina. Then also they decided to bring Imam again when they changed the, their capital, when they went to Baghdad, they decided to have Imam under the control. So Imam al Jawad, as a young Imam, is taken to Baghdad. They're under their control. What? they tried to do was that they said Imam of, is of young age. And what we do is that we will put him in a corrupt environment, in a vice environment. From his very young age, he will, he will be surrounded by wise people. Then Shia will not follow him living in a palace when there are, you know, all corrupt things then people will doubt about his being an Imam. With this intention, for example, he, he forced Imam to marry his own daughter, Ma'mun's daughter. Ma'mun forced Imam, Imam al-Jawad, to marry his daughter. And at the time of the marriage, uh, he brought something like 100 beautiful slave ladies to dance there and to be around them just to, to in this inculcate people that this is, this is the Imam in such corrupt environment. That is why 
Imam al-Jawad is called Imam al-Taqi, pious. All Imams were pious. All Imams were Reza, all Imams were Jawad, all Imams were Kazim, all Imams were Baqir, all Imams were Sadiq. But these titles that we use is according to the social condition they used to live in. And Imam al taqi we call him Taqi, pious, because they attacked Imam's Taqwa. They tried to question Imam's Taqwa. And Imam Ali salam showed such a great piety. Once Mahmoud brought a musician, he began to play the music and dance in a way to say that Imam, you know, is interested in this sort of things. Imam addressing that person said, Tabilla, be in fear of Allah. The saying of Imam had such influence on the person that he couldn't play anymore. He couldn't use his hands anymore. This is Be'amrena. Inshallah, we'll discuss what, what does it mean, Be'amrena means. Allah has given the control of things to Imam. Allah has given the control of the things to the prophets and later to Imams of Ahlul Bayt. They are the vicegerents of Allah on the earth. So even when they found that they cannot hurt the reputation of Imam from this aspect again, they decided to do to him what they did to the other Imams. And they poisoned Imam at a very young age. 